It's more than a shock. Lucy Beardy is exhausted and in mourning, but she's also angry. I felt like I was ambushed, like I was set up for, for this. Beardy is talking about this news conference on Thursday afternoon. She says she didn't give the Winnipeg police permission to reveal details of her sister Linda's last hours alive. I told you guys clearly I needed to consult my family. Police say Linda was seen leaving this store alone on Monday morning and they've seen security footage that shows her getting into a nearby garbage bin. And she was actually observed to climb into the bin on her own. Now there was some activity observed within the bin and after a short period of time there was no further activity observed but she was not observed climbing out of the bin at any time. The contents were later picked up and dumped at this landfill where city staff found Linda's body. Police have ruled out homicide. There were no other injuries that suggest any kind of foul play. Police have not yet responded to Beardy's criticism, but she says she's lost confidence in them. What we, well, what I'm asking for and hoping for is an independent investigation, uh, just that would be more thorough and also that we can trust. She also plans to file a complaint with Manitoba's Law Enforcement Review Agency. But first, she and her family are gathering to remember a life lost. She was like all her nieces and nephews' favorite auntie. She was smart and strong. Beardy saw her sister in a Winnipeg mall just last week. Linda asked her to message her son. And tell him she loves him and that she's been really thinking of her babies and trying to get on a better path. That path now cut short. Beardy's only consolation is the last thing she said to her sister. My last words to her were, I love you. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.